You can't go in there. Nope. Come on. Sorry, I just walked away from a live video. Sorry, I had to chase my dog. Come here. Hold on. Sorry, I'm coming back, guys. <sighs> Come here, Bass. Come here. Right there. Give me bed. My apologies. I had to step away for a moment because my dog is trying to sneak here. Get in your bed. Come on. Come. Come on. Come here. Bassie, come here. Hey, oh, look. I got your bed for you. You can be on camera. Come on. In your bed. Lay down. Lay down. Stay. My apologies. He ran in the other room and he can't be jumping. So I had to. I know what he wanted. He wanted to go in and jump on the bed. He's not very happy right now because he wants to be up on the couch or in the chair and he's not allowed to jump. Are you? Huh? You're not allowed to jump. Who's saying hi to everybody? Yeah. 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 You can help Mama cook, okay? Yeah. Good boy. You stay there. He can't jump in on furniture, so. I know. I feel bad. He wants to be up moving, but he needs to rest because he's got an incision, like, way down. But that incision looks so healthy. It's crazy. All right. Good morning, my friends. I'm feeling a little nauseous all of a sudden. It's because I haven't eaten. Where are you going? I don't know where he's going. I haven't eaten this morning, and I took my injection, and all of a sudden, I'm like, whew. I need something to eat. So, I'm going to make protein pleasure cookies. Sebastian. It is hard. I've got him drugged. He hasn't had any drugs yet this morning, and I think he may need a little dose here in a minute. Where did you go? Where are you? Okay, okay. He's laying in the bathroom by the sink. So that's good. I guess he just needed to get away from me. Um, has it, who's made the protein pleasure cookies? Tell me in the comments. If you've made the protein pleasure cookies and... I hate the name. My apologies to THM, but it feels they feel like naughty cookies, like they have weed in them. Um, has anybody made them? And if you've made them, what flavors have you made? Can you believe I have never made these cookies? I just went upstairs and printed the entire recipe batch off. It's on the interwebs. If you just Google, well, I put the link at the top, but you can just Google protein pleasure cookies, trim healthy, and it'll pop right up. There's a whole little secret recipe release document. And um, Cinnadoodle does not really appeal to me. I'm not a big, like I like cinnamon, but it's it's not my top favorite flavor of things. This is the last thing I'm gonna go for. I've looked at all the recipes, does that count for? You haven't made them. You have to actually put your fingers in the dough. Um, the Protein Pleasure Cookies Chalk Chalk does not sound appealing to me. These are chocolate cookies with chocolate chips. Does not appeal to me, even a little bit. Nope. Uh, um, and I like chocolate. But having chocolate with chocolate, just... Why not, Jackie? You don't want a little anaphylactic on a Saturday? Why aren't you just going for it, girl? I'm kidding. Um, and then there's peanut peanut, which is peanut butter cookies with peanut pieces, peanuts in it. And then there is chocolate chip. Well, chocolate chip and peanut both sound appealing to me. So I'm going to not put peanuts in my peanut peanut, but I'm going to put chocolate chips in my peanut peanut. And therefore they will be peanut chocolate chip. Because why would I follow a recipe to the tea? I mean, I just, I wouldn't do that. So it says very specifically to mix your dry ingredients in a medium bowl, mix your wet in a small, and then mix your wet into the dry and fold in carefully. I feel like chocolate with peanut butter chips would be good, but they, well, Lily's makes peanut butter chips and I have about 10 bags of them and then I found out they weren't on plan. So chocolate cookies with peanut butter chips would be all right. Right, I'm not gonna be boring. I need to zhuzh it up a little. All right, I've preheated my oven. 
Let's get out a medium bowl and a small bowl. I would say this is a small bowl. And this is probably a medium. This was my great grandmother's bowl. My favorite way to eat them is after they've been baking, either refrigerated or frozen, I put them in my air fryer for about three minutes to make them crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. That sounds delicious. If someone were super energetic, is there a way to make on plan peanut butter chips? I can't even, I can't even make on plan regular chocolate chips. I tried it and screwed it up. That sounds good, Meredith. That would be like a S helper. That sounds good. Chocolate covered cherry cookies. We could totally do that. I should add that to my list of recipes for my upcoming cookbook that I keep talking about that's going to be out this summer and I haven't started yet. One and one half cups of peanut flour that smells not rancid because I've been keeping it in my fridge like a professional. Who's been putting away the dishes? They're not in their right spots. One and a half cups of peanut butter. This one doesn't have any baking blend. There's one and a half-ish. One and a half cups of peanut flour. Half a cup of erythritol or gentle sweet. I feel like the erythritol would be even better, but it's on the top shelf and I didn't feel like getting up my stepladder. My mouth is water and super bad. I'm wicked queasy all of a sudden. I need to eat. All right, half a cup of gentle sweet. A quarter cup of collagen. I have very little of this left. I wonder if you could replace the collagen with whey protein. I know that whey protein... I don't know. Collagen tends to make things sticky in a good way. So I don't know if you could replace it with whey. Has anybody tried that? Quarter cup of collagen. Quarter cup of gelatin. I'm going through gelatin like a boss these days. You guys, I almost got scammed on Facebook this morning. Listen to me. I know all the scammers are watching right now. Why not, right? If you're so talented, why are you scamming people? Why can't you get a real job? Honest to Pete, there was a, I need some outside furniture and there was a Hickory business page and somebody posted beautiful furniture and they said they'd only used it nine months and they were moving and they needed to get rid of this furniture and it was $400 and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy that. It was a love seat and a couch and two chairs and a fire table. And they're usually about 800. So I thought 400 sounds like what somebody would sell a used one for. So I, I contacted them. Is it still available? Yeah, sure is. I'm like, oh, sweet. I'm going to buy me some furniture today, but I'm going to have to go rent a U-Haul to get it because we don't have a truck anymore. So I said, they said, when can you come look? When can you come for pickup? And I said, well, I want to look at it first because, you know, I just want to make sure. I'm not going to commit until I, I sit on it and make sure. I don't fall through the bottom. And they said, okay, what time? And I said, three o'clock. And they said, then, then it got weird. Sure, I'll send you my address at noon. I thought, why at noon? I said, okay. And then a minute later, they came back and said, um, I'll hold it for you if you send me a $100 deposit on PayPal. And I'm like, I know this tactic. So I took the photo and I went to Google Images and I uploaded it into Google Lens. And Google Lens will look all across the internet and see if that photo is anywhere else. Do you know that that same couch has been posted for sale in 70 something countries and like a thousand times by all different people? Because they'd be trying to scam me. So I took a screenshot of it and responded and said, the heck with you trying to scam me out of my money. Anyway. One tablespoon of sunflower lecithin. So needless to say, I'm not getting a beautiful 
outdoor furniture set for four hundred dollars and i really need furniture and i'm not finding anything i like and i don't trust people on facebook why have people got to be that way i just need a couch and a table and an umbrella uh one tablespoon of sunflower lecithin. I am still working on THM. You've never heard of Google Lens, Susan? You can upload a picture to Google Lens and it'll look at the whole, the internet is an amazing place. Let me just tell you. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. I know, Anina, it's so frustrating. I had a spammer call me the other day on the phone. Ma'am, there's something wrong with your television. And it, you can always hear the phone click when you pick it up. And it's like, hello, ma'am, ma'am, hello, hello. Uh, we've we've recognized an issue with your television. Um, do you have your remote control handy? Well, of course I do. Let me just go ahead and carry on as long as I can. Yes, I do. What do you want me to do? What the heck? Honest to Pete, it's too bad I didn't own an apron or 87. Um, how much salt? Half a teaspoon. That looks well right. Um, Ma'am, there's something we've identified an issue with your television. Um, can you get your remote control? Yeah, sure. I got my remote control right here. Well, what do you need me to do? Because I can't miss American Idol. I don't want to miss the next episode. Help me fix this man on the phone. And he said, I need you to read the word. Like, is there a word on the bottom of your remote or uh, some letters? I said, yes, there's a word here. And he said, okay, can you read it to me? I said, yes, are you ready? He said, yeah, I'm ready, go ahead. And I said, it says, screw you, spammer. And he goes, <laughs> instead of just hanging up, he goes, screw you too, ma'am, have a nice day, and hung up. <laughs> really, Meredith? Well, maybe I need to go upload that stolen picture of that furniture and find an equivalent set on Amazon. All right, here's my dry ingredients. I hope I didn't offend anybody by saying screw you. I'm dropping people left and right lately. I'm offending everybody. Every, every turn I take, people are like, I'm offended. Oh. <sighs> All right, here's my beautiful, now look, this right here, all done, is a beautiful batch of cookie mix. If you would like to have a single serve cookie ready to go at any moment, you could just make up a batch of this and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then the wet ingredients are vanilla and peanut butter. You could just put a touch of that. I'd say throw, it's got a half a cup of coconut oil and this makes 24 cookies. So I would say put, half a teaspoon of coconut oil in and like a couple tablespoons of egg whites in in like two to three tablespoons of the powder and then just throw it in your oven and you have a single serve cookie just like that all right now they want me to mix my wet separately which i have a real issue with i like to just put it in and mix it up Yeah, you're right. Yes, I agree. I agree. I just tell, I, I've gotten to the point in my life where I just tell people to get over it. <clears throat> Grow up. If I offend you, it's because you're boring. Because I'm not that offensive. So if I offended you, you might, you might need to check out reality a little bit. All right, half a cup of coconut oil. Because I'm pretty much not offensive. I smell funny sometimes, but that's about it. I'm really not that offensive. All right. What is this? Quarter cup, right? Yeah. So half a cup of softened, well, this is already softened, coconut oil, and then three eggs. Okay, okay. I'll show you in a minute exactly why I decided to make these cookies. I have to throw out the rest of that cake. I didn't eat the whole thing, and but it's really good. And all this went probably went bad too. 
people over here not eating the stuff that I buy. Um, I can't, that cake is so good, but it got totally dry. Hey, Lori. <laughs> right, Lisa? <laughs> Lisa, I love you. Listen, if KJ offends you, you're just boring. Sorry. All right, three eggs. These are the most pathetic eggs I've ever seen in my life. They are teeny tiny. One tea, I itch. One teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of peanut butter extract. All right, I got pineapple. That probably wouldn't taste that good. Caramel might be okay. I know I must have peanut butter in here somewhere though because I've bought the peanut butter extract like 18 times and never used it for anything. I think I've used it in a smoothie once. So it's got to be in here. Let's just bring this over here. Let's put, oh, that's liquid smoke. I don't want that. Let's put vanilla. Okay, I do have another container. Let me go get that. Banana, apricot, apricot, maple bacon, orange, pecan, maple, cinnamon, rum, butter, coconut, cherry lemon. Well, what do you know? Okay. KJ does not have... <gasps> Found it. All right. Yay! Hey, Tony! I've never really been a believer in the mix the wet and put them into the dry. I think it's a bunch of crazy pants. I know. I probably upset somebody by doing that too, putting my eggshells back in the carton. I'm sure I'll get a message about that later, but that's okay. I'll just say, oh, I'm sorry that offended you. Here's the link to sign up for my coaching so I can offend you every day. I do that same thing to Andrea. I do the same thing too. I said one time to a scammer, does your mother know that this is what you do to earn money? And then I said, wait, your parents are probably right next to you, aren't they? All right. Well, that doesn't really mix that well because the cold eggs went onto the coconut oil and turned the coconut oil hard. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you. Solidarity, sister. That's right. If you're taking your shells to the trash can, you have too much time on your hands. And we need to find you a hobby if you're not just throwing them back in the carton. Because nobody really has time for that. Okay, it says hand mix that. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's for the add ins. Mix wet into dry. Wouldn't it have just made more sense to put it all in one bowl in the begin with? Does is there really is there really a method to that madness? I don't believe that there is. I never do that when I bake, but I thought I I want to get my cookies right. I just never do that. I think it's craziness. I think it's unnecessary. Plop it all in a bowl and move about your day. My coconut's all hard because of those cold eggs. Well, these smell amazing. Put them in a compost. Com Can you imagine, Sheila, me composting anything? I can't keep flowers alive. I certainly can't grow fertilizer out of eggshells and carrot scraps. I mean, I can, it's, it's amazing that my family is still upright. I, I can't keep plants alive. I, like, there is no possible way I could figure out compost. 
Because then I would just have a stinky pile of trash in my backyard that I didn't know what to do with. Marvelous Mary Malone told me to sift baking soda so it will not leave lumps in the batter. Interesting. This is quite dense. Somewhat like my head. This is dense. Is this supposed to be this thick? Did I miss some liquid? No. This is really thick. How am I going to stir in the chocolate chips? Those That coconut oil is all chunky through there, which means it's going to leave little pockets of fat all through my cookie, which may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. All right. I don't have any Lily's chocolate chips, and I'm trying to not eat that many Lily's anymore because, honestly, they make me not feel great. I mean, they don't appeal to me. The idea of having unappealing chocolate fart chips just doesn't sound good right now. It's Saturday. I have work to do. I don't need to have gas. So I'm going to use the world's best and most expensive chocolate, Aldi. Mosher something. Mosher, Moser Roth. The best chocolate. It's so good. Mm. I'm going to make chocolate chunk cookies instead. I think chocolate chunk cookies are superior to chocolate chip. Yeah. I, I, I do a lot of times. So like I, I don't bother. It's so much cheaper. Meredith, you're not wrong. The gas could help me get things done. But most of the work I have to do is sitting in a chair filming. So I really don't need gas. Every time I do an educational video for group coaching, somebody would be going, what's that sound? What was that sound? What's that rumbly noise in the background of her video? Is there a tractor trailer running next door? What is that? Keep this all on the counter because I don't want the doggo to get any dark chocolate. I'm sure there's a more better way to do this, but this is efficient. How much are we supposed to put? Half a cup. Well, Looks about right. <laughs> right? <laughs> this, Dorothy, is from Aldi. This is Moser Roth 85% dark chocolate. It is great because it comes in four little mini chocolate bars. So they're perfect. They're perfect single serve and they're delicious. It says to gently fold in, but I just aggressively mixed it, so I'm not sure gently folding really matters at this point because I've already aggressively mixed. All right, they look pretty good, except for the coconut oil. Maybe I should mash that with my hands. Do you think those coconut oil bits are gonna impact this? Somebody with baking seals, tell me. Hmm. That's how it's done, Michelle. I measure with my heart. Hmm. I kind of just want to eat that with those raw eggs. I could use a little salmonella. Speed up the weight loss. That is delicious. I wonder if you could. Just use almond milk in this instead of eggs, and then you just have cookie dough. I'd eat that. All right. Form cookies and place them two inches apart on a parchment-lined baking sheet. To make huge cookies that have 15 grams of protein, that's what I want, three to four tablespoons of dough. You'll yield 10 cookies. Okay. 10 cookies it is. If I had read that above, I'd have made a double batch. Maybe I'll make another batch and just do a different flavor. Maybe I'll make the chocolate covered cherry ones. Maybe I will. Meredith, why not? 
erythritol does that to you, Dorothy. Erythritol doesn't seem to bother me. Um, it's the chicory root. You get the old chicory root toots. Nobody wants to be around that. So unless you need a solid amount of alone time, go with the dark chocolate chunk. Could I have folded that any more crooked? All right. Three to four tablespoons a piece. I'm just going to take those rings off just in case. That means it's a quarter cup. And this is how I make chocolate chip cookies when I make regular chocolate chips. They say to slightly flatten them down, but you know, I don't do that with my chocolate chip cookies and they come out big and fat and beautiful. So I think I, I won't. I think I'll skip that part of the instructions because they can't make me do what I don't want to do. I can do it wherever I want. They're my cookies. I'll bake five at a time. I don't think this is going to give me 10 cookies. Did I miss an ingredient? Because I got five. I ain't got no more, no five in there. Well, I guess if I did three tablespoons, I would get 10. So I'll probably get, get eight. All right. This is when I make chocolate chip cookies for, for, you know, for the sad, unhealthy people in my life. I don't flatten them. I leave them just like this. And that way they're nice and thick and they're beautiful. So I'm going to take my chances and do it. And I think I am going to make chocolate covered cherry ones if I have some cherries. I don't have the ingredients out, so you all have to bear with me. How long is this going to cook? Eight to ten minutes. Hey, Siri. Set a timer for eight minutes. She's all over it. You have to flatten them. They won't. They won't flatten like regular ones, even with the coconut oil in there. Really? How come? How come? I'm going to eat this. I'm only going to get seven cookies. I do too. It's my favorite mug. They will. Well, nobody likes balls. Hold on. All right, I flatten them a little bit. All right. We'll make some big flat ones. I'll have fat ones and flat ones. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Anne. Uh, I'm going to flatten these ones. I'll flat make these big and flat. And then I'll, if those ones are all fat, then I'll just have big fat cookies. Oh, good to know. Good to know, Jackie. Oh, well, those ones are already melty, so I'll let those ones get big and fat. That's got too much chocolate in it. Not because it's too much chocolate, but because I didn't spread it out evenly. All right. I'll make these ones nice and flat. And then those ones will be fat and ruined, but I'll eat them anyway. And then I'm going to make, I think I'm going to try Meredith's idea. If I have cherries, I have to go look and see if I have cherries. All right, let's put these aside. I'm not going to bother, bother washing this bowl. It's not got that much peanut butter in it. It won't impact the next batch. I'll just, I feel good. All right. One of the reasons I really wanted to make these cookies today was because of this. Now listen, if anybody has a, an issue with food triggers and panics when they see things, look away. This is in my house, okay? Oatmeal, cookie, it looks like a freaking pie. Look at that. Whatever that is, that one fell apart. That's a uh, key lime, 
I decided I needed some cookies. If those were going to be in my face today, then I needed some of my own cookies. Now I got some of that devil frosting on my fingers. You're right, Anne. If I could eat armpit chicken, I'll eat any shape of cookie. You're right. Good to know. Yeah, I, I, Jackie says if you try to pick them up right out of the oven, they'll crumble because they'll fall apart. And I think that's the gelatin. Every time I make um, gelatin, cookies with gelatin, they always are crumbling until they cool. Those cookies don't even look very good to me. We had a crumble cookie open in our town a week or so ago. They don't look good to you, Jackie. Do you need me to call you somebody to help? Is that a sign? Blink twice if you're not okay. They look good to me. But I ain't gonna eat them. But they, I ain't gonna say they don't look good. That oatmeal raisin or uh, oatmeal cream pie one. All right, let's do the chocolate chocolate. But instead of chocolate chips, let's put cherries. If if I have cherries, let me see if I have cherries. Let's see. I feel like I do. It's just a matter of finding it. Look at that. Oh, I have like three. Who put this back in here? One, two, three. I have four cherries. That's not going to be enough. Why, why, why did I put that back in there? Blueberries wouldn't be no good. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just have the one batch. And I'll get cherries and make them another time. This is what I'm having later, though. This is Marvelous Mary Malone's Amazing Pizza Crust. Mary, do you have any pizza crust in stock? If so, you should put the link here. This is a leftover frozen pizza crust. I don't have enough cherries, so I ain't even going to do it. Let me go look in the in the oven. I mean, in the freezer hang tight for just a moment maybe i have another bag <laughs> let's see tater tots oh, i can't believe it i can't believe it we win This is the Marvelous Mary Malone's Master Mix Pizza Crust, and it's left over from about three weeks ago. And I'm going to let it sit out all day, and then I'm going to eat it. I think I'm going to make a calzone today with it. All right. I have cherries. I'm going to take some and dry them off real well. I'm actually going to thaw them out and then dry them off so I can get as much liquid out as I can because I want them to be as dry as I can. Yeah, as written, it's an S. So by adding cherries, it's gonna be a little bit closer to an S helper. Because, it, well, if you eat one, it will probably be fine because there's not many carbs in, let's see, there's 25 net carbs in a whole cup. So there's 12 net carbs in this divided by eight cookies, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Those cookies with the chunks of coconut oil in them look like veggie burgers. Oh my gosh, those look amazeballs. Robin, this is Trim Healthy, Trim Healthy Pleasure Cookie, Protein Pleasure Cookies. <laughs> pleasure Cookies. They do not have marijuana in them. They just make you happy and please you. And if you just Google, the link's at the top of this, but if you just Google Trim Healthy Protein Pleasure, the whole batch of recipes will come up. You do? Are you making it today, Shirley?
Are you making something with the dough today? What are you going to make? Hey, Siri. Shut up. All right. Timer went off. But I think they need just another minute or two. I'll use that timer this time. My husband always wonders why we go through so many paper towels and I like to blame him. All right. They're dry now. Dry enough. Well, not really. Those look super appetizing now. They look like tumors. They look like something off Dr. Pimple Popper. I know that's disgusting, but it's true. That's all right. All right, one cup of teach and baking blends. I hope I have all the ingredients for this. I didn't look ahead. If not, we'll figure it out. One cup, half a cup of cocoa powder. Cocoa right here. Should we use Oreo? No, I'll just use dark chocolate. Tumor cookies, right? Everybody's favorite, Meredith. Everybody loves a tumor cookie. Half a cup-ish of cocoa. Three quarters cup of gentle sweet. Half a cup of collagen. Well, I guess I better I better order some because I am not gonna have enough. Quarter cup of gelatin. All right. Sunflower less than I gotta get the cookies out. Hold on, let me get the cookies. <laughs> Those look ridiculously good. All right, let's slide this over here. Put the next ones in. Get them cooking while I finish up this batch. Oven and pan are hot, so I'm only going to do eight minutes this time and then check them. Those cookies look insane. What's pizza dough you guys are talking about? Yes, there's a link about halfway up in the comments, Michelle. This is Marvelous Mary Malone's Master Mix. It's a sprouted pizza. It's a sprouted dough you can use to make cinnamon rolls. You can use to make cinnamon twisty thingies. I made breadsticks out of it. You can use it to make whatever. I'm going to make calzone. Because isn't a calzone just a pizza folded in half, right? That's all it is, right? Or am I underthinking it and need to prepare something different? But I'm pretty sure it's just a folded pizza. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. Eighth of a teaspoon of stevia, which we're, it says to omit if you're using gentle sweet. All right, this time I'm not gonna mix up my wet in a separate bowl. I'm gonna do it right here like a rebel. And I'm going to also put my coconut oil on one side and my eggs on the other so my cold eggs don't make my coconut oil turn hard. But I guess it will anyway once the frozen cherries hit it. I guess it don't really matter, does it? Three eggs. Calm down. All right. 
half a cup of coconut oil again. I haven't used this much coconut oil in a while. Where did I put it? It's right here. Half a cup. I don't want to stick that dirty thing in there. Stars party. Thank you, girls. I appreciate your support. It means the world to me. Especially right now. Old Sebastian and his... Oh, man. I just put that in there. Now I do, I'm going to dirty 67 spoons for one batch of cookies. Sebastian and his ridiculous amount of surgery. Surgery number six. Good thing he doesn't speak human English that well. Because he'd be quite upset by my disdain for his amount of surgeries. All right. This is to put caramel and vanilla. I'm going to put cherry. Let's see. I know I have some cherry extract somewhere. I think. I'm bent over in front of the camera. That's how everybody wants to start their day. Cherry. Do I have cherry? Actually, I might not have cherry. I think I used it because it's my favorite. Hey, Sheila. Oh, yeah. No. That's right, Robin. Mm. I ain't got time for any of that. I also ta don't have time to measure differently if, if it's liquid versus dry stuff. Mix it all together. Nobody cares that much. It's really not that important. Um, blackberry. Blueberry. Raspberry. I don't have... I know I used all my cherry and I keep forgetting to order it. What's that? Mango. Peach. You know, if you put raspberry flavor in something and you tell people it's cherry, they won't even know the difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and put raspberry in there and nobody's going to know. Oh, stink. And almond would have been better. Oh, well. I'm just going to put raspberry. Nobody's going to know the difference. And, and, and who is nobody? I'm the one eating these. Nobody's going to know. All right, now I'm going to cut my cherries into quarters, and then I'm going to pat them a little more dry because I want them to be dry, dry, dry. I'll move this so you can watch my professional level cooking. People are going to log on and think I'm cutting up something bloody. They're going to be like, ew, what is she cooking? My Pampered Chef, or not Pampered Chef, uh, Pioneer Woman Knives. I love these things so much, but I think it's time to replace them. I've only had them about eight months. They are so dull. I think I need to go get a new set. I think these are going to require a frosting. Frosted cherry frosting made out of raspberry extract because I don't... <gasps> cherry hydrates. Like somebody said, I could do cherry hydrates. It does look ghastly. I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay. I'm going to dry them just a tad bit more. Place an order from Sam's for some paper towels later. All right, let's see. Okay, I have everything in here, right? Baking blend, cocoa, sweetener, collagen, gelatin, sunflower less than baking soda, mineral salt, coconut oil, and eggs. Um, I want hankles. That's what I want, but I ain't got no money for hankles. So I just have the Pioneer Woman ones. I love them. They're nice, but they've gotten dull. I suppose, yes, I could get a knife sharpener. I just, I kind of think that's a scam. Can you really sharpen a knife? Maybe you can. Can KJ really sharpen a knife? I'm not entirely sure but about that. This is dry. What am I, what's not in here? Why is this so dry? Oh, 
Okay, it's fine. It's coming together this way. And I get that all through my nice jewelry. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Can the, these are cheap knives. These are not good knives. It does work better if you melt your coconut oil. I was afraid to because it just said softened. So I was afraid to melt it. Could I have done that? All right. That's good. It worked. It's all good. I'll be darned. If that doesn't taste a little chocolate covered cherry like, I don't know what would. That's really cherry. And mildly raspberry ish. I don't know why though. Those are done. Those ones finished faster. All right. And that's because they were flatter. These ones spread out more, but not a ton. They did, they're bigger. But, ah, that's hot. These hand mitts, oven mitts, whatever you call them, are a little um, underwhelming in their ability to keep my hands from burning. Okay. Wait, that's hot. Can you sit hot stuff on granite? Can you safely sit? I don't know. I don't know anything about granite and if I can put hot stuff on there or not. But I suppose if I can't, I probably shouldn't be leaning on it either. Hot stuff. You get it? Do you get it? Are Rada knives the ones that are like $1,000 a set? Is that the set? Is that the set? Why, Susan, are you scared? You can put hot stuff on it. I get so nervous. Um, my friend Sarah, one time she said she cannot stand hot stuff on her lap. So we'd go get a pizza and I'd sit it on her lap and she'd be like gagging because she, I have cookie dough on my nose. She, uh, she'd be gagging because she couldn't stand it. I have cookie dough up my nose. How did that happen? What on earth? And I said to her. Well then, how do you stand? Um, how do you stand hugging your husband or something like that? She thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever said. Okay, what, what's the brand that's so expensive that everybody loves? There's a brand. Somebody told me about one time that's really expensive and everybody loves them. And I looked at them. And I was like, those are like eighteen hundred dollars, but they last for like five hundred years. Can't sit in a chair somebody has sat in. It's warm and it grosses me out. Cutco, that's the brand. That's the one. All right. Let me bring this over here. Those cookies look ridiculously good. All right, where'd my quarter cup measure and cup go? Right here. These are a little touch dry, but I think once they start cooking, they'll be, the oil will start to melt and they won't be as bad. I'm gonna flatten these ones out a tiny bit. Not as much as those ones and not as little as the first ones. Let's see what happens. Warm toilet seat grosses me out. Well, I can't say that that doesn't gross me out. You have them too? Well, I think it was Jen Valentine that told me that, that she said they're, they're last, they last forever and she's going to she's gonna um, pass them on to her kids. And I looked them up and I thought, I thought oh, I'm going to get some then. And then I saw how much they were and was like, oh, chances are my kid's going to order takeout all the time anyway. So do I need knives that last for 100 years? Probably not. She's going to live off DoorDash, so... Probably not necessary. I should just be investing in DoorDash. These smell so good. I'm anxious to try one of these. 
That's amazing though. 50 year old knives. You sharpen them a lot, Cindy. I have a few cut cone knives and they're my absolute favorite. I've had them over 10 years and they're sharp. Today's the day I got them. I would love that, Cindy. But I don't want you to need to will me anything. I'd rather, I'd rather have Cindy than her knives. You have Hankles. The reason I wanted Hankles is because that's what Gordon Ramsay uses. And if Gordon Ramsay, if it's good enough for Gordon, it's good enough for KJ. All right. Let's throw these ones in for eight minutes and see what happens while we taste test the peanut butter chocolate chip ones. See if I can move these without destroying them. That's what they look like. Look, look at this one right here by this finger. Look at that cookie. Is that not, that looks better than the crumble cookies over here. They're very, they're still very warm. So I'm just gonna take half a one and put it on a plate cause I wanna taste it. As if, I can't wait for it to be completely cool. As if. These are gorgeous cookies. These are absolutely, look at that chocolate on that knife. Don't worry, it's dull. Don't do that at home. Look at it. It's gooey in the middle, but not undercooked gooey, just gooey. I would never drop them on my floor. I would never do that. That is an incredibly good cookie. Wow. Um, you're just gonna have to wait a minute while I finish this. The edge is crispy. That I did about three minutes longer, Kim. That needs a glass of chocolate milk. Those are decadent. Those are delicious. I need to get my coffee heated up. That is so good. That is delicious. All right, now we're all gonna have to wait together for the other ones to come out so you can see what they look like and taste like. Those are insane. Those are incredible. What a mess. All right, let me take this moment to hold you captive and tell you about what I have going on at Holy Healthy with KJ. That's what I'm gonna do, Lori. I'm gonna freeze most of them because I'll never, I'm not eating a lot of sweets these days. I'm not craving them. There's 15 grams of protein in each one, surely. So I will need to double that. I'm not gonna eat two. I'll have to add some protein to the side because I won't wanna eat two. Um, and I'll have to, I need 30 grams of protein. Um, Holy Healthy with KJ. Here's some of the things that are going on right now. Starting April 15th, there is a GLP-1 empowerment program to help you if you are on a GLP-1, Trim Healthy or not, if you are on a GLP-1 or you are strongly considering a GLP-1 or you just want to be nosy and see what's going on in the class. It is a five-week program with Coach Christie and I. Coach Christie, who has lost 130 pounds, Coach Christie, okay? She's lost a whole teenager. Blows my mind. Her and I are leading a five-week program 
It's going to have menus available. There's going to be daily check-ins. There's going to be education all about GLP-1, doing trim healthy while on a GLP-1, and what's most important, how to deal with side effects, excuse me, all that stuff. That is $120. If you are a member of Holy Healthy with KJ, it's only $60 for the five-week program. So if you are a member, go check um, the fa our Facebook group, and the link is in there, or just reach out to me or Shirley. Or any of my admin team, actually. I, I just heard Shirley go, <gasps> where, where's the link? I just, I could hear it from here, all the way from Myrtle Beach. She went, <gasps> I don't know where the link is. Um, that's going on. Starting on April 16th, we're doing a book club. That is $30. And it's going to be, I think, 10, I can't remember if it was 10 or 12 weeks. But that is um, a, I think it's 10-week book club. Uh, we are doing Atomic Habits by James Clear. I haven't read it, but I've heard rave reviews. Um, hey, buddy. That is $30. But if you are a member of Holy Healthy with KJ, it's free. Um, April 12th, we are doing a cooking class led by Coach Christy for chicken Euro Greek sa salads. Um, <laughs> I do. I have chocolate on my lips. Yes, I do. On my teeth. We are making chicken Euro Greek salads on April 12th at 7 p.m. live on Zoom. It's going to be a lot of fun. That is $15 to join. If you are a member of Holy Healthy with KJ, it is free. You see a trend here? Hi, sweet buddy. No, that's chocolate. No, you don't need that. You don't need no chocolate. So if you are not a member of Holy Healthy with KJ, you can join anytime. This month we're talking about adaptability. Um, <laughs> Jackie. Um, we're talking about adaptability and how to adapt in your journey and why being adaptable is so important. And um, there's lots of different resources that are coming your way. So this week I gave out menus and like 30 recipes for dairy-free, grain-free recipes for Trim Healthy that are healthy, a variety of different fuels, and a menu to follow for four weeks that is completely dairy-free and gluten-free and does not use any recipes from um, the cookbooks. They're all recipes that you're given. You can print it out and it even has a grocery list for each week. You get resources like that. We're going to be um, doing a go bag course coming and you'll get that free as part of group coaching. And then in May, we're going to focus on movement and I'll be giving away a rebounder, which I'm really excited about and um, a gift card to cover a month, uh, three months. What did I say? No, three months of uh, Tribe Healthy on YouTube and gift cards through the month to Amazon um, and Trim Healthy Store for winners of movement challenges. And then in June, we're talking about routines and the importance of routines and there will be some self-care giveaways that month. So a lot of fun going on in the group. You can join anytime. It's $89 a month. You can come. You can stay for one month. You can leave. You can come back. You can stay for 10 months. You can stay for two years. You can do whatever you want. But you get all of those things for free when you join my coaching. What else? There's a summit. We're doing a free summit coming up. If you haven't registered for that, look on my um, Facebook page or go to thebestusummit.com. It's a free event with myself, Linda Johnson, Chris Honeycutt, Sarah Truitt, Shannon Fox, and Jen Mason. And we're talking about igniting your health. I have coffee greens all through my coffee. All right, let's check these babies. Now, those ones didn't flatten out hardly at all. I think it's the lack of chocolate chips. I think they need a couple more minutes. I think the chocolate chips helped those ones, the chocolate chunks helped those ones spread out. Yes, that's right. If you're part of group coaching, you also get twice weekly coffee time with Shirley Zooms to build community and hang out um, and on top of group Marco Polos that are so much fun to get to know the ladies in there. It's just an amazing, amazing support community that, that supports. We support the women in my group beyond your health. We support you in celebrating with you wins, celebrating life events, celebrating 
all kinds of things, praying for you when things are going tough, lifting you up. We have a mama that's going through a really, really difficult time right now um, with the loss of her husband and the community is just surrounding her and holding her up and giving her a shoulder. And it's way more than a weight loss community. It is a friendship community. Black the cookie sheet on the counter when they come up. That's what we did at the bakery to make the cookie spread. Well, that's genius, Malone. That's why you're mar marvelous. That's right. We have Jamie helping you get flexible in the group. We have marvelous Mary Malone helping you get your gut health right. We have Coach uh, Christy helping you get your head right. We have Coach Susan helping you get your diabetic stuff in order. There's a lot in that group. It's an amazing community. All right, 23 seconds. Let's just, awkward. that coffee is not that good. I bought a new brand and I don't like it. Or new flavor, I should say. Go, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now so that you don't waste your money because it's absolutely gross. It's from Duncan and it's called Candied Almond and it tastes like cinnamon nuts. And I like cinnamon nuts as much as the next girl but I don't wanna drink my cinnamon nuts. Don't buy it, it's gross. I'm gonna have to drink it because I bought it and I'm not gonna waste it but. It's not that good. It's terrible, actually. I don't like it at all. All right. Let's whack these babies on the counter. That won't wake the whole household up. I'm going to stop there. Is there anything I can put in the oven before I shut it off? Maybe not. I think I'm going to use my crock pot. All right, let's give it just a minute or two. What can I answer for questions for you? Do you have questions for me? I'd love to answer some questions. Throw them at me. Hit me with your questions. Let's talk while we wait for cookies to cool so we can taste them together. Somebody must have a question for me. I'm an open book. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Mm questions from somebody other than Mary Malone and Shirley because they'll hit me with questions that I don't want to answer nothing you got nothing could you have ever imagined the plan God had for your life for years absolutely not I could never have dreamed my life would be leading this community of women never I never could have dreamed that my life would be what it is today. Leading this community has just been my biggest blessing it's to the birth of my daughter. Let me add that in there. Um, it's just, it's been an unbelievable, incredible journey. And um, July, I'm going to a women's uh, speaker. I'm going to a conference for women who speak. I'm going to a public speaking conference with Lisa Turkhurst, with just a small group of other women and talking about growing a ministry, building a ministry. And I used to think public speaking was the most horrifying thing on the planet until I did it. I know I love it. My GLP one journey is all on Instagram. It, some of it, post through to my personal Facebook page as well, KJ York. Um, but my posts for updates for my GLP one journey is on Instagram, joyful life underscore with KJ. Um, and I was down 1.2 pounds this week. So a GLP one and is a hormone therapy injection. It's a peptide therapy. Your body creates GLP-1s naturally, but some of us struggle to create them. Some of us have broken metabolisms, broken bodies after probably, it can be, I mean, genetic, but really it's years of abusing my body. Have, my body does not produce, just like some bodies do not produce insulin, my body does not produce GLP-1 naturally. And I have tried all the things to help produce it. There are lots of natural things you can do. And there's a guide on my Facebook and Instagram page that you can get a free download. Um, just scroll back a few days. I think I posted it last week. 
on Monday, maybe. Um, actually, it's two weeks ago, maybe. I don't know. There is a guide that can tell you all the things you can do to naturally raise your GLP-1, but some of us just don't produce it and are stuck in our weight loss journey. I had got, I was 251 pounds when I started Trim Healthy and I lost 80 pounds and I was feeling amazing. And then all of a sudden my body went, yo ho ho, and a bucket of 30 pounds. And I gained 30 pounds back, even though I was doing all the healthy things, all the things right. I was everything. <laughs> I've done all the things and my body was just, I, I'm postmenopausal. That's right. At 45 years old, I'm postmenopausal. Okay. And my body was just like, you know what? I've had enough of you and your nonsense. I'm just going to fill right up to 30 pounds more and I'm just going to sit here comfortably and make fun of you. And it's really hard to be in that position when you're leading other women to get healthy. I just said woman like Pearl. You're leading other women to get healthy. Um, to be stuck and not be able to lose more weight. And while I am a very strong believer that it is this whole journey is not just about losing weight, weight, I also know that it's difficult on my joints and I do need to lose more weight. I need a healthier weight range for my joints and everything. And I'm so incredibly inflamed. That is another um, indicator of a low GLP-1 production is high, high, high inflammation. Um, and mine was off the charts. My blood test showed my inflammation was quite high. So I started four weeks ago taking a GLP-1 injection. Um, you have probably heard it in uh, the public world referred to as Ozempic or Wagovi or Manjaro. I take the generic brand, compounded brand called Terzepatide. And my inflammation, you guys, I cannot even, I had to put my wedding bands away. I have gorgeous wedding ring, a gorgeous anniversary ring that my husband bought me for our 25th anniversary. I had to put them away because when I walk, they were just falling right off. The inflammation, my side by side, I'm going to do a side by side post today of just my face. The inflammation is pouring off my body. In, I've taken four injections. Today was my fourth. I'm down eight pounds since I started. Um, this week was 1.2. And admittedly, I got on the scale and I was like, 1.2. And then very quickly, I, I flipped the script and remembered, this is not about losing weight quickly. This is about losing weight healthy. This is about getting my body to do what my body is meant to do. And now that's what it's doing. I've lost eight pounds in three weeks, which is an amazing weight loss, and five more pounds and I will be back in Wonderland because I swore I'd never leave it again. And then my body just went, yeah, I'll show you. You think you're not going back to Tudorland? If it's not Wonderland, is it Tudorland? You think you're not going back to Tudorland? Well, let me show you again. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be under. I'm going to be down again. But listen, not to be saucy, but look at, look at, you see this? You see these curves? Mm. Do you see that? Do you see this lack? For a while, in the last six months, my belly has been sticking out past my boobs. I looked down and I saw belly. And listen, these things stick out a little. Oh, oh. They're relatively large okay and my belly was sticking out past them but it was bloat and inflammation it was i would bend down and i'm like it's so full of inflammation not no more girl you see that uh -huh. snatched that's right margie that's right all right let's try one of these cookies these ones have got to go in the fridge i mean in the microwave I'm back in the oven let's take these ones off Put these ones on, put the pan back in there, get them cooking, and then I'll show you these ones. What? I shut off my oven. Dummy. Ugh. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. All right, this is the chocolate covered cherry cookie. 
Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Is that not perfection? Meredith, I love you. I'm going to drive up to Delaware or wherever it is you live and kiss your face. It looks like door cooked in the middle, but it's not. It's perfect. It tastes like a brownie, but with a hint of cherry. Whew! That is phenomenal. I can see why they call it protein pleasure now. I thought that was a terrible name, but I was wrong. Maryland and Delaware, they always confuse me. Like they're kind of intertwined on the map. So I kind of forget who's who, where's where. That is so good, you guys. Now, if my coffee wasn't awful, that is just, that is decadence. I'm sure you have all our teeth. All right, I gotta go. Thanks for joining me. One hour and 11 minutes. Good Lord have mercy. That was a long video. I'm sorry for keeping you so long. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing Saturday and come. What's on my face? Is that chocolate? I love you guys. I hope you had fun this morning. And now go make cookies and show me pictures. I love you.